Okay, so here's a quick video on how to lay out um, some round stones. I'm going to do this fairly large, although you can do it just as easily small. Uh, I'm going to do it large so it's easier to see. So I'm just going to take, uh, for now, let's say an 11 millimeter or 12 millimeter square, and I'm just going to draw a square. That's step one. Step two, take the same square, and I'm going to line up my template perpendicular so that these lines match up with the corners and then I'm going to draw another square okay so I just have this and they should be nice and lined up then I'm going to take that and I'm going to just choose an appropriately sized circle to go around it what I want is a bit of a gap right here Go with this guy and again I am just lining up this line through here and this line through here like that now once I have that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join these tips through the middle so if I go here to here I'm just gonna join these to the outside line uh, circle on both sides and I can do that all the way around Just like this, and do the last two here, just like this. Now, once I have that, I'm going to bisect each one of these sections across here, and I'm going to do that by lining this crotch and this crotch up, so where the interior, where the two squares cross. I'm just going to line those up and do my best to get that exact. And I'm just going to do a light little line on the outside and continue with that. And I'm actually getting a bit of a cast shadow here, so I'm going to change my light location so I can see better. Just like that. And you're just going to mark those in between, and I'm going to freehand these because I can. And so I'm just going to bisect these. As I said, they should line these up just like that. Now I'm going to take a ruler, and I'm going to go from this corner here, the outer corner, to the bisecting line on both sides just like this. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side and work my way around. And this is going to give me all my facets. Normally when I'm rendering, I don't do quite so many facets. Um, this only really works when you're drawing large. If you're doing a stone that is too small, you won't be able to, um, you won't have enough space to work in. And then you just do that all the way around. Now, if I wanted to, if I was laying this out on colored paper, rendering paper, I could just put carbon paper underneath this to get it to transfer over. Although I would just redo this in whatever tone my stone is in because I like to have you know, if this was a sapphire, I like to do a dark blue. And then that gives me my, my layout. So that's a quick and easy way to do your layout for your faceted stone.